industry. I'm looking forward to doing it. Lindsay Mills, your girlfriend, moved here in 2014. Um, how is she adjusting to her life here in Russia? You know, it's surprising how adaptable people are. It's not easy living in exile for anyone. Uh, you know, it's not the place where you belong. It's not a language that you studied in advance. Uh, it's tough to figure out how to make a new life. But she is an incredible person because I signed up for this. I knew what was coming. I was volunteering for these risks. I couldn't tell her in advance because if I did, the FBI would treat her as an accomplice. Uh, they would try to put her in prison instead of me. You basically said, I'm not going to be home when you get back. Yes. And I mean, <laughs> imagine that. Uh, it probably makes me the world's worst boyfriend. But she didn't hate me for it. In fact, she seemed to love me more because she, she knew me before I had a job. Uh, she knew me before uh, I was making good money, uh, and she cared about me then. And as I climbed the ladder, as I gained all these clearances, as I became a much more senior and successful individual, uh, she cared about me uh, just as much. But when I lost it all, when I gave it all up because I saw something wrong, something I believed needed to be said, she said she just fell in love with me all over again. And I can never thank her enough for that. What do you miss most about the United States? Family, of course. That's always the thing. You know, they can come and see me, but you've got all these travel arrangements and logistics. You've got to go on an airplane ride. Uh, who doesn't miss that? When you look back at the last three years, was it worth it? Absolutely. I would do it again. No regrets? No regrets at all. People listening to this might think, are you kidding? No regrets? <laughs> well, I do have to deal with some tough interviews now, but uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm glad we can have these conversations, and I hope that we work to make an America that never loses the opportunity to do this.